My name is Ruthika. My name is Chris. And today we're here with Dr. Sai Lakshmi Balajapalli, who is the founder of ACOM. She's received numerous awards for her work, and uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, the New Jersey ACOM chapter's work for ACOM and all the volunteer work our chapter has done. Um, so, on June 2nd, 2019, um, the NJ chapter of ACOM USA hosted a 5K run that was completely ACOM organized. With the help of many sponsors, local businesses, you name it, um, there were many volunteers. There were many um, ACOM uh, youth ambassadors who came and they were helping. And the youth ambassadors that were present there, such as uh, Ritika and I, they, um, they they contributed a lot actually. And um, without the help of many volunteers and the EYAs or the ACOM youth ambassadors, it wouldn't have been possible. So before we talk more about our organization, organization. So before we talk more about our our chapter's work, um, Sayanti, would you like to tell us a little bit about the EYA or ACOM Youth Ambassador Program? Yeah. So EYA was uh, uh, started uh, to build a more in the values, instill values, and how the youth can get connected to the rules. That's how it all got started and uh, amazing thing is I was just excited how you guys started this and how, what uh, made you think about 5K run I'm really excited about it. Uh, so the, when we first started, we, it all just started as like a brainstorming session. It was very rough ideas, people just throwing around ideas and then finally we came across the idea of a 5K run. And it wasn't necessarily like set in stone and all of us came together and we came to like building up on this just one small idea and then it blossomed into something really amazing and really big and it allowed us to become like proud of our work and it allowed us to like take pride in something that we did. So That's yeah. amazing, beautiful leadership, you know. Uh, it's almost like uh, running an organization in these two months. Can you just, did you have some teams or how did you organize it? Because it needs a lot of thought process. Yeah, of course there were many teams that we, um, the volunteers organized by themselves. And, um, there, were food, there were food teams that organized the, like how the food was going to come to the ACOM 5K run. Like uh, Dunkin' Donuts was there and everyone enjoyed that. Um, Indian food, there, food for everyone. So they, they took care of that. Um, the outreach people were in charge of um, talking to the community. Of course, um, some of the ACOM youth ambassadors, they went around the, like their neighborhoods and um, they talked to local businesses as well. They emailed. We also used um, different social media apps like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. We used all, like, all the things that nowadays teenagers, they connect to. So. We used a way to connect to them themselves and show them what ACOM is really all about. Um, so that was outreach. Um, sponsors, of course, we get sponsors from local businesses and everything. Um, what about the road, uh, radio show? I heard that it was a live radio show you did. Yeah. So uh, what we did is we went, me and Krishna, as like a surprise to our moms, we went on, on Mother's Day, we had uh, we kind of like broadcasted our, and like told everyone who listened to the Telugu NRI radio about the ACOM run and we basically promoted the event and um, we're not sure how well this did but uh, it we had a really great turnout at the ACOM event mm -hmm. and I I'm, I really hope that it was in part because that because we went on this radio show yeah, so it was a one hour. Uh, it was a one hour radio show that we did on May twelfth, um, on Mother's Day. Actually, it was supposed to surprise our parents, like she said. Uh, of course, um, like from our radio, uh, we hope that many people listened to it and understood what Acom was all really about. And um, it was really a great experience for Ritika and I because it was mainly our first time organizing this, and it was you know such a big. Uh, like experience for us because again we never really did it before and we were talking to a very big audience there were some callers that came in from India and um, it was uh, just a really really good experience to 
bring um give the word about ACOM. So like Krishna said, our, this event allowed us to bring not only our community together and like have uh, like interact more with the people around us, like our neighbors, like the local businesses in our community, but also bring another community in like a completely different part of the world in India also together. And this, this is like a really beautiful thing because it's not only like we're bringing us ourselves together, but it's like a larger, more bigger scale kind of event. Um, so something else that we did was uh, prior to this, we organized smaller events that inspired us to come together and create a bigger Ecom event. So uh, we started small doing bake sales, lemonade stands, a Super Bowl pool, and all of these inspired us to create a bigger and much like wider scale event. And uh, this really gave us the exposure and experience that we need to get away from like the gadgets and like being cooped up in our houses all the time. And this really just exposed us to our community as well. And not only to something bigger and just more, and just, you know, ACOM itself is just such a beautiful organization. And, you know, yeah. That's amazing. Uh, like, you know, you need a lot of leadership uh, role to take this into such big level. How did you all plan? So we had different teams for each section of the organization that we were supposed to do. They organized um, food, uh, plan of like planning of the events. There was one entire section just dedicated to that. Uh, there was uh, sponsorships. Some EYAs actually went to local businesses, Shoprite, Target, those big name corporations. There was registration, T-shirts, designs. There were many different teams, and they were all led not by one leader, but they were led by the volunteers just by themselves. And it, it really showed everyone how they work together, and how um, it, it's it's like it's great because they all work together. They worked on without one synchronized leader, right? So um, without one leader, they they did it, and that's really great. So a big part was also assigning people roles yes. to to at the, for the event. So we had a food team, decoration team, registration team, an outreach team, to a team to get sponsors. So many different teams, like a photo team, like all of these teams coming together and people taking their skills and what they were good at and implementing it into certain areas that benefited the run and made this amazing event come together as a whole. And just that, all of these people coming together was just really a really great thing for us. And it not only brought our community together, and uh, it, it was just an amazing experience for us. So uh, what we learned from this was that uh, each of our skill sets can be used to benefit this run in so many different ways. And that was really Yeah, awesome. absolutely. Uh, it's like this. You just had this pure intention to save the lives of kids. And that pure intention, nature has showered with so much of love and abundance and so many, uh, you know, the turnout is so much unexpected. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, uh, you were expecting how, how many, like? So we were actually expecting only about a hundred people and then we ended up, including kids, we ended up uh, getting over 175 participants yeah, at the amazing. run, which was really amazing for us. Mm -hmm. And we also ended up raising, with all the sponsorships and ticket sales, uh, $19,000. Wow, that's yeah, Which amazing. is an amazing amount, much more than we were ever expecting. Yes. yes. And this is, and this is one of the first 5K event for entire ACOM assets. So yeah, this is amazing. Is. And you guys can be mentors for other chapters. Uh, and this is brilliant. Yeah, of course. It's a, we really want to inspire the other youth ambassadors and the people who are going to be a youth ambassadors eventually. Uh, we're doing it for you guys, so um, uh, it's, it's really great that we did it ourselves and um, with the help of all the volunteers, it's just such a great run that only people can dream about, but with our teamwork and just the overall goal to help children in need and help the organization, it just means a lot for, I can tell it means a lot to all the volunteers and all the participants that went and helped. 
So through the 5K ACOM event, uh, we've raised over $19,000, which is an amazing amount. So, uh, Sayanti, could you tell us a little bit about where all of this money is going? Yeah, first I would like to congratulate you for this amazing event that has raised so much of funds. Yes, so like uh, uh, the plan is like, you know, every chapter adopts a district in Tamil Nadu and the New Jersey chapter also uh, sort of has been given a uh, district sale. So the chapter can decide like, you know, they can adopt uh, the district and uh, part of the funding would go for that. And the second would be like EYA, as EYA you can um, have certain projects like you can adopt a village or you can do some activities here in US. So part of funding could go for that too. And uh, part of our funding can go for, we get referrals from different parts of India, sick children who are hospitalized. That's called a Save a Child project. So you could actually think uh, of uh, no, allocating part of funding for saving uh, no, a life, a child's life. And it could be an individual project, like Saren, if you all can decide to adopt certain other villages which where your grandparents are, uh, you know, where you get connected to roots, which are called as individual projects. Or you could think of allocating some fund to build the core funding for the organization for its sustainability. These are the five ways uh, every chapter can sit and discuss and then uh, plan and allocate the funding. Of course, of course. So the uh, the money that we're going to raise is going to go for that. So yes. what do you have to say for the other chapters who haven't done as big of a as magnitude of the thing that we did, but they are, you know, starting to hatch new ideas? Yeah. So, uh, like, you know, chapters, it, uh, we would like to create a platform. Already there's a Journeys uh, app which is there where the chapters can learn from each other. Like, for example, you guys did 5K run. And if you have, if you can create a process and all, you know, what all you have done and if you can upload in that, the other chapters can learn from that. And the other chapters might have done certain events like, you know, different types of activities which could be shared. So that would be wonderful. It could become a beautiful sharing platform where we can learn from each other uh, to reach our ultimate goal to save uh, children's lives across. Yeah. yeah. And um, so, I don't know if you know or not, but in Detroit, the... Uh, Detroit chapter, they actually um, started a chess tournament. Yes, um, so yes that's now, it's on now. Yeah, so what do you want to say to the EYAs who are contributing for that? Yeah, definitely when the EYAs, like, uh, they, uh, the leadership qualities, like, you know, all the EYAs, they can actually start discussing with you guys to understand how you were planning and what was done, so learn from you. And uh, they can share their experiences. So that next time you can plan for a chess tournament and they can yeah. plan for a 5k run. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, yeah. so the ACOM the ACOM Youth Ambassador program is a success. Just bluntly speaking, it's such a big success because we have so many EYAs from all types of all different types of chapters from all across the world. We are now doing in Africa, um, Asia, India, we're doing all across the United States. So, for all the EYAs that are out there, um, what would you like to just summary? Uh, what mm -hmm. would you like to summarize for them? Oh yeah, that's a beautiful uh, question, Krish. Like, uh, no, the entire idea of EYA came up because we wanted the uh, kids to actually, you know, work with their parents uh, and divert their energies positively uh, to do something for others. Like, we have been given so much in our lives. Can we do something for others? And it's like beautifully growing movement of oneness and uh, this is amazing as you rightly said not only in us we want it to spread across the globe mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, learn from each other but the ultimate goal is the experience of oneness right, right. so for all the eyas the future eyas that are out there and are looking to contribute to this great cause if you go on www.acomusa.org we'll link it in the description down below uh, if you visit that website, you can find a registration form and on that form, you can sign up. You, um, you just need your email, phone number and if you have a chapter advisor, you, you can just tag them down below um, in the form. So it's really easy to sign up. You need to be over 10, 10 years old and you're, if you do that, you can be eligible for a presidential award. So uh, this presidential award, if you contribute uh, 50 or more hours to ACOM, you will be submitted into the, the uh, official list of, of presidential award. 
and uh, President Donald Trump or wherever, whatever country you live in, you can get a, uh, a word from the president. So, yeah. Um, so, of, of, of course, we're encouraging all EYAs or we're encouraging all uh, youth. Okay, yeah, say? young leaders to join. Say young leaders. Okay. Um, so again, we're encouraging all young leaders to try to become an EYA, ACOM Youth Ambassador. Again, you can go on acomusa.org or acom um, Uh You can register online on, on a Google form. And it's very simple. And um, we encourage you strongly to do it. And one day we hope to see you um, working alongside us and going for this great cause. Alright, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Alright, this is the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe down below by hitting the red button. Subscribe to GNN and uh, leave a thumbs up if you like the video. See you next time.